Now the cornea is made up of five main layers. Okay. The first one, as you can see and as you can imagine, it should be the epithelium. That is followed by the Bowman's membrane. This one over here is your Bowman's membrane, followed by a stroma. This is a very important part of cornea. And uh, the stroma is followed towards the inner side by the decimates membrane. And the last one and the most important layer is the endothelium. The endothelium is most important because it helps in the maintenance of the transparency. So we know that cornea accounts for the uh, most of the diopteric power of the eye that is about 43 to 46 diopters of the human eye is provided by the cornea. So the transparency is of utmost importance and this is majorly maintained by endothelium. However, the structural arrangements of these fibers in the stroma as you can see here, they are arranged parallel to each other. So because they are arranged parallel to each other, they do not interfere with the wavelength of the light that is entering into the eye. And hence there is no disturbance in your vision so you can have a clear vision. And that is how you are able to see this lecture as well. Okay, now let's look at another interesting and a recent point. A new layer has been added to the five layers. It is called the pre layer or the Duas layer. It's a Dua's layer because we can proudly say that our Indian doctor, Dr. Harminda Dua, has discovered this layer and hence it is named after him. So this layer is present just in front of the decimates membrane that is after the stroma and before the decimates membrane comes our Dua's layer. Okay. Now another important point over here is the corneal scarring. Okay. This is a very common condition occurring in our country and the leading indication for corneal transplantation. Why does the scar occur? Like, why doesn't it heal? Because the Bowman's layer cannot regenerate. Once injured, the Bowman's layer does not regenerate and heals by scarring. This obviously deteriorates the vision of the patient. Now the decimates membrane is the strongest layer of the uh, all the layers of the cornea. It is not permeable to any um, uh, infections or you know. So the Bowman's layer is the strongest layer of the cornea and it does not allow anything to permeate inside the eye. But the only strongest infection that is able to permeate even this membrane is fungal infections. So whenever there is a decimal layer involvement you have to immediately suspect a fungal infection of the cornea. Now let's look at this layer of endothelium. As we have discussed earlier, it is the most important layer because it is responsible for corneal transparency. We have seen in our classes of glaucoma that the endothelial pump helps in maintaining the corneal transparency. We know that, see if you uh, imagine this is your cornea. Okay, the aqueous humor is being produced over here and we know that it is drained through the angle via the trabecular meshwork into the episcleral veins. Now, some of it is always in contact with the innermost layer that is the endothelium of cornea. So, we can understand that it will absorb the fluid and whenever there is fluid absorption, it leads to edema and uh, deterioration in the vision. But this is prevented by the active endothelial pumps that are present in the cornea. This aqueous humor is pumped out by the pumps and hence the cornea is maintained transparent. However, once a damaged, if the endothelium is damaged due to any reason, it is irreparable. So, it will lead to an irreversible corneal edema. You can understand that because the endothelium is damaged, the pumps are not functioning. So, it will lead to absorption of fluid, absorption of aqueous humor causing irreversible corneal edema. Okay. Now, how do you count the number of cells? See, look at this picture carefully. All of these hexagonal structures that you are seeing over here, these are the endothelial cells of the corneal endothelium. 
and the hair count is of utmost important because we uh, the cornea requires a certain a basic number of endothelial cells to maintain the transparency so how will you count the a uh, number of endothelial cells it is done by an instrument called the specular microscope it gives us the cell density of the endothelial cells the average cell count is about 3000 endothelial cells per millimeter square of cornea so we need in a healthy cornea we need 3000 cells per millimeter square to maintain proper vision However, every year, just like any other epithelium or endothelium in our body, there is a 0.5 percent loss of the cells, which is physiological. But the critical density to maintain normal vision and transparency is at least 500 cells per millimeter square. If the cell density reduces below that, we will uh, land into corneal edema. Okay, because the cornea can no longer pump the aqueous humor out because of insufficient uh, endothelial pumps okay now another interesting point over here is for corneal donation the minimum endothelial cell count in the donor cornea should be 2000 cells per millimeter square anything less than that your um, keratoplasty or the corneal uh, implant will not be of any use okay so when we have discussed now when the cells are less than 500 per millimeter square leads to irreversible corneal edema and deterioration of vision this is treated by keratoplasty or the corneal transplantation hello everyone this is dr sai suguna your mentor for ophthalmology at medicoab now thanks for watching the video now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app the trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below